Hi, welcome to another exciting edition of The Juice. Our guest today is one of Africa's sexiest male artists. Um, he's also known as Mr. Utunu. What's up? How you doing? I'm good, man. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. You're looking very sailorish today. I'm a sailor now. <laughs> this is what I do in my off days. <laughs> Alright, so we're in 2013 now, but let us talk about what 2011 and 2012 were well, for me. So, yeah, because 2011, that was when you dropped your album. Was no, it? I dropped it in 2010, December. Okay, 2010, December. <coughs> yeah. And then, well, around 2000, at the end of 2010 and yeah. 2011, you had like a lot happening for you. Yeah, I did. You had, um, well, you got to My be a Pepsi ambassador. Yeah. You know, you had a big, 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 massive billboard. Mm. Yeah, congratulations on that one. Thank I was a little bit jealous, but I was like, it's okay. It's okay. There's only space for one face, like, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. All right, so 2012, just give us a... 2012, I was, I was promoting my album. I was doing, like, um, tours around. I did, like, nine different cities in Nigeria or states, should I say. Um, <clears throat> I also did, like, an international tour, a mini tour in uh, the States and the UK. So it was just going around and making sure that my music had reached beyond just Lagos, Abuja type thing. So, um, doing went that... To the north, you went to Yeah, the exactly. North. And that was when things were really crazy in the north. So I prayed before I went and I came back in one piece. <laughs> Uh, well, 2012, we saw you introduce, you know, a few new artists. To yeah, definitely. Okay, definitely. So, uh, what happened? How, what was that process like? I mean, I was obviously the flagship artist of Syndicate Records, so I went as a scapegoat. I made the mistakes. I learned, and then you know we had other people waiting to get on. Like you know, my producer Icon is also an artist. Um, you know, Black Magic came out. Um, now we have Nadu and we have Blink and you know they're coming out with new stuff and they're getting introduced to the industry. So the thing is the we the kind of music we make, you really have to be a fan of music to really appreciate it because we make sure we do not like compromise with the music that we're making, not to just say, ah, let's fit in, let bus drivers like our stuff. At the end of the day, every artist picks their you know niche market. I picked mine, you know what I'm saying? So you know, syndicate records with actually very different people and those people who appreciate music would appreciate our stuff. We're not fighting for everybody's fan base. Right, well let me ask you this, how would you describe your music? Jollof music. Jollof yes. music. Yeah. Okay. Definitely. And, uh, I think a lot of people kind of see you, <coughs> they see, you know, somebody that's, well, would you consider yourself a sex symbol? I've heard I am. I've heard people say stuff like that, but that's, that was never my aim or my driving force or whatever. Do you ever like maybe get up in, in the morning, look at yourself in the mirror and just be like... Like this guy, God damn! Mm, mm, mm. Today you're going out with no shirt. Nah, I don't. <laughs> you never do that. I don't, but I take my time and I shower. Shout out, it's confirmed. That's why I'm always late for everything. See, so you know what though? That's I what? think a lot of people don't realize that you're actually very funny. I'm funny. Should I, should I enter basketball out for you here now? <laughs> So, wait, 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 so let's, let's go back, 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 back before you started music. All right. Just give people, like, a summary of, it, of your background. Um, I mean, obviously, I grew up, I grew up in Lagos. I'm from Delta State, A-Town, Asaba, where the coolest people come from, you know what I'm saying? People need to know. But anyway, um, you know, grew up in Lagos, went to school here, then went to the UK for my higher education. While I was there, you know, I came to Nigeria every, twice a year. Um, <clears throat> my partner, Icon, was here. So we built a studio. I, you know, I've been in the industry for a while. You know, I didn't know all them demands before they popped, kills, all of them. And um, I was basically just learning, you know, learning, you know, how to work the game and, you know, how to make good music and how to sell music and everything. So while I was away, I was doing that. Uh, I formed a couple companies, or I, you know, created a couple companies. I had a clothing line, have a clothing line still. Um, a media company. I do all my artwork myself, my websites, everything. Yeah, you're also a graphic. Yeah, I'm a graphic designer. Yeah, yeah a very good one. <laughs> At the same market. So yeah, um, you know, I do that. I do that as well as now that I do music. I came out 2009 as Lynx. Had a very successful single, Change of Parade, mm -hmm. and you know everything's just been uphill since then. Gone, gone, gone. So talk 
talked about music, we've talked about your business, yeah. you know, side of things and everything. Mm. Let's talk about the ladies. So how do you deal with all your many, 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 many female fans? Um, man, I get this question a lot. <clears throat> but the thing is, let me just, in fact, this is not even an interview, let's gist. Let's gist. Have cash. Yes, let's gist. Alright, but for me, it's, I do get a lot of attention, you know what I'm saying? You don't love the attention? No. Don't lie. I promise you. You don't love the attention? I just, I just want to make music, man. Uh, you know, and, and sell and Sorry, can you just take money. off your glasses and say that again? I just want to make music, man. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You love the attention, don't you? Not really. Stop this thing now. <laughs> <laughs> nah, easy. but um, I've seen you in action. He he loves he loves the attention. Nah, I don't. To be honest, I don't. Because you know what? I think you have like a what's it called? When you have your very excited female fans, you kind of go into this whole you pout a little bit. Oh, yeah. into the eyes. Like Zoolander, yes. Like no, Zoolander. Joe. <laughs> nah, but I mean, there are plenty. There, there are base men that are looking for links. I know that one is for sure. You know, okay. Twitter every day, DMs, all these guys. But I know, like, on, on average, people expect me to take advantage of it. But mm -hmm. I really don't like out there. I don't think there's anybody that can really put anything on it. Really? Yeah. All right, let's talk about the female celebrities. So you're saying that there's nobody that you're like. No, they actually, you know, yeah, shout out to you guys, man. You know what I'm saying? You guys are very, very sweet. That's quite nice. Yeah. Give, no, no, no. <laughs> no, but no, listen, right now, right now, right now, you need to give me some right, now, right now in the industry, man, there's, 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 a, there's a nice amount of very interesting women. Um, okay, let me see. Kemi Adetiba, I, 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 I actually like her because she has this, she has this unusual tomboyish aura. Like, Kemi is the kind of person that you can invite to dinner. She just call me Chuck Taylor's, James, okay. wife beat and cop. You know what I'm saying? But I find I find it kind of interesting. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It's very different and I think it's sexy. So Kemi, yeah. Okay. Actually, shout out to Osas. Um, Osas has been causing problems in this in Lagos for a while now, a couple of weeks. So shout out to Osas. She's like, the actress on Tinsel. Yeah, she's, she's the new girl on Tinsel. And we, we worked together like recently. And I put pictures of us up on like my DP on my phone, and everyone's like, "Ah, this guy, yeah." Like, so I can't just friend somebody again. Like, I can't take pictures of somebody again. So anyway, yeah, shout out to us, as well. Miss KDK, ah, Chima is too special. I can't even call her that. Do you understand? <laughs> Yo, every time I see Chima, I'm just looking at her like, as I'm big like this, as small like this. <laughs> I put it in my pocket now, take you, nobody will know. But yeah, like, yo, Chizima is, Chizima is so cute, man. And, and, yo. Do you, need, do you need a moment? Are you good? I need a moment. I better give me my okay. glasses. <laughs> okay. Link is going to take a moment while he thinks about Chizima. Breathe. You guys will continue this interview. Let's just keep it moving. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you can either follow me or stay over there. You know. But my advice to you is to roll with the winners. SDC Syndicate. We moving, man. All right. Okay. 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 So I've got a task for you. What's you are you are a rapper. Yes. You're a jollof musician. But your one of your passions is rapping, right? Yeah. Rap music. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm gonna throw in. <coughs> Four or five words. Okay. I need to do like, I don't know, a few bars about them. Can I curse? No, you cannot curse. Okay. So yellow, gold, honey, chidem. Okay. okay. You want me to run with the word yellow? I'm going to make this thing very cliche. Okay? Okay. Yeah. Give me a beat, let's go. No, no, no. no. I, I, Beats! No, I just you can't bring it up. I let's go, give me a beat. <laughs> I'm wasting time with tools. I won't do it. I won't do it unless you give me a beat. I could only do one beat though. I don't care, man. Okay, give me a right. beat. It's too fast. Slow it down. Slow it down. Slow it down. Okay. Uh, yeah. And I go by the name of Link Senna. We tools. It's a quiet no. Yeah. Look. Uh. Walking down the street, I saw this girl in yellow. Who was it? She did my. She was wearing yellow. I got on my knees. I gave her ring gold. Ah, uh, Shavina, ring, go. Wait now. Continue. After that, continue. Let me finish it. I got on my knees. I gave a ring, gold. After that, Chidima was sold <laughs> to links. <laughs> I'm too bad now. I part off with your. Appreciate.
<laughs> okay, okay. So let's quickly wrap up. Uh, 2013. What yeah. is your plan? What are you looking to achieve? Um, I hope to shock a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? That's one of my gingers in life, man. Proving people wrong. You know, I'm not somebody that's ever failed or whatever I've tried to do because the law, the good Lord is on my side. You understand? So, man. <laughs> 2013 is going to be a very good year for me for my label. Um, you know, we've been working so hard while we were silent, so this year we're just going to, you know, my album is almost done, if okay. not done. Your but sophomore I'm, album? Yeah. What's it going to be called? It's called Jalof Music. Okay. And it's, it's just going to be very straight to the point. It's like going to be 10 tracks and every song is going to mean something. You're not going to skip anything. Okay. There's a few surprises uh, this year, you know, I've been on the business end, you know, newer brands have approached me okay. for certain things, so you guys will find out really soon. Um, also, you One know, no, no, no. Nah, nah. See, that's something that I'll never do. I've done it once, but I'll never do it again. Why? Because I don't feel like it's necessary, dog. Like, I don't need it, you know what I mean? Like, let the models be models. People always tweet me stuff like, Links, you should also be a model. I'm like, but I'm not complaining as I'm like this now, so... You're a businessman, this is another, you know, it's, it's, it's not something I, I don't have passion for it, and if I don't have passion for something, I wouldn't do it for the money. Okay. Um, yeah, so there's going to be a lot of stuff that I'm going to reveal this year. Music, videos, business, all that kind of stuff, you know, so I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Alright. I'm looking forward to it. And then your pursuit of Chilima as well. No, that one is already confirmed, trust me. Okay. After she watches this thing, see that free stuff. So I think I think you might scared her a little Gold. bit. Chief, uh, if you're listening, you might want to get yourself maybe pepper spray, taser, because this guy wants to put you in his pocket. I don't think that's No, nah, no, nah, I'll sweep off her feature. Then put her in my pocket. Trust me. But Chile, my man, shout out to you, man. See the amount of plus I don't give you for this thing. Holler at him. Holler at me. Just make me happy. Please. <laughs> you're running scared. When I have a fan, I'm the new day. My skin real smooth, you're only do day. Oliver the coke bang inside, because you're me, go me, I'm one.